Okay, here is your anatomical model of the arm veins. And the um, I think it's easier to start at the top, even though we know the veins are going to be traveling to the heart, not away from the heart. So um, this, this is the clavicle, the clavicle bone. So around this area, um, from here to here, this would be considered the subclavian artery. I'm sorry, the subclavian vein. And the subcla subclavian artery is right below it. Okay, um, this branches off to create the cephalic vein, and the cephalic vein runs the length of the arm and it continues and kind of wraps around back and forth a little bit and it goes down the entire length of the arm. And that's a real easy pathway because it just goes directly from the hand and then um, it connects to the subclavian in order to uh, make its pathway back to the heart. All right, and um, so if we follow another way down <clears throat> from the uh, subclavian vein, and then once we get from here to about here, that region is going to be the axillary vein axillary vein because this is in the axillary region and then after that this is going to be the brachial vein because this is the brachial region um, if you look really closely here you'll actually see that there are three veins here that are all running together um, this bottom one this is your brachial vein the middle one we haven't talked about yet, um, but that is going to be your median cubital vein. And then the top one is your basilic vein. Okay. All right, so as we follow that down, then I'm going to end up having some branches here. This is, this is a much better view because here you can see Median cubital vein. And here, remember this top one here is the basilic vein and the basilic vein is going to turn here and it's actually going to wrap around and it's going to be this large vein that travels down the arm.